Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is the 3rd of August, and this is Shammy and her kids. This is the first time they've been out in the grass like this, and I'm really shocked. They are like all over the place. They're not scared at all. They're running around. They're playing. I'm, I'm just really amazed that they're doing this well. These guys um, are a little old, right at four weeks old. They've had their first Neopar booster. And they're doing great. They're starting to nibble on dry dog food. Uh, they're still nursing a lot from Shammy. Shammy's looking at that fence like, I know I can go over it. And yes, she can. One leap and she's out. Poodles are very athletic. And she would love to get out and run <laughs> this morning. So she's dying to get out in the play yard, which I'm going to let her go out in the play yard when we're finished with this. And then she can go and run. Um... So talking about X-Pins, if you're going to get an X-Pin for your yard, this is actually, I counted, there's 13 panels set up here. I'll zoom out and you can see it. Uh, this is not quite two full X-Pins put together. I've got the rest of it folded up over there on the other side. You can tell where they're folded. So um, I didn't want to make it full size because it's harder for them to get around and harder for me to keep track of them in the video. So if you get an X-Pin, you're going to have a four-foot square area with one X-Pin. If you hook two of them together, you have a great play area. Um, the biggest thing I would tell you is I would not get anything shorter than a 36-inch. I would go at least a 36-inch X-Pin. So um, that's just a couple things on X-Pins while they're out here. So this morning I took some weights on these guys before they came out. So I'm going to give you the weights on them, and then we're going to find collar colors. So the royal blue collar is 30416, and that one weighs 2 pounds, 10.5. The neon green collar puppy in here is 79051, weighs 2 pounds, 10.5 also. There's a little one in here with no collar and the partial yin-yang face. That one is 30417. It weighs 2 pounds, 9 ounces. The yellow collar puppy out here is 30415, weighs 2 pounds, 11.5. And the purple collar puppy is 2 pounds, 12.1. And the forest green collar puppy is 2 pounds, 13.5. Shammy is starting to pace, and I figure she's going to go over my fence in a minute. So let's see if we can find some collar colors. Um, so the neon green is right there with a the little toy underneath. The yellow collar puppy is right there with her back to me. And please don't think, no, that's a boy, that's a girl. We always say he or she, and it's just, I'll just go by collar colors because I'm going to confuse you. Um, the forest green collar puppy is right there, headed this direction, under mom's front legs. There it goes. It's sneaking out. Uh, I think we have purple maybe underneath me. Nope, royal blue. Royal blue is right there next to the green. There you can see that little bit of royal blue. And where is the forest green collar? <laughs> yeah, that's royal blue. There's purple. This one right there is purple, and I just got a little tiny glimpse of the purple collar. There you can see purple. And the forest green one is the last one I've got to track down. I think it is right there in front of me with the freckles on its nose. Yep, that's forest green. So that gives you collar colors. These guys are doing super good. I'm just really tickled how they're getting around out here this morning with Shammy. It's really unusual sometimes for them to be this mobile and active. And they're whiny, so that's not unusual because it's all new to them. So each time they get to come out now from today on, they'll come out without mom. But I like to at least get mom out and let you see him with mom. Our bigger dogs, we can't do that with because they go right over the fence. So it's nice with the smaller moms, but Shammy has gone over these fences before, so I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't try it again. These guys are starting to nibble on dry dog food. They are starting to um, get around really well in the kennel, and they're busy as all get out. So we don't have very much longer before they go home, and I think we got about, what, a month? Uh, about four weeks, so uh, they're going to growl and play, but they're doing super good. Um, we're actually going to move them over in the bigger building today. Uh, they'll have a much bigger area to play in. They'll have a five by ten foot, 
And they're in a cubicle with chamois right now, which is about uh, a four foot cubicle. So they really need a bigger, a bigger area. So these guys are going over in the other building. Um, we, a couple things with these guys too. When you go to your groomers, you really, really want to make sure that you write down on like a three by five card or a piece of paper, something you can give your groomer with your instructions on it. Most groomers include, with the price of a groom, your toenail trimming, your ear plucking, a hygiene clip, and then whatever you want done to their coat. Uh, something I will warn you is if you do not write down what you want done with your coat, or if you just say trim it up, you're liable to get your dog shaved to the skin. Um, I've had it happen many times. I've had many clients call me just frothing at the mouth because someone shaved their dog to the skin and they didn't even know their dog when they went to pick it up. So if you don't want the short, short haircut, which is the best bang for your money, <laughs> lasts longer, I would absolutely write it down. And if it's not done the way you want, if the toenails are not trimmed the way you want them, I wouldn't pay for the grooming. Um, you know, I'd say, hey, can you go back and fix this? It doesn't take that long to go back and do it. If the groomer has an attitude, that'd be the last time I use that groomer. So uh, just kind of really make specific requests of your groomer, but do it in writing, and that way you have some recourse. Because many times the owner of the shop will not stick up for the client. She'll actually stick up for the employee. And another thing is to check with friends that have groomers that really like the groomers. Um, that's always a good thing to do also if you can find someone that recommends a groomer to you. So just a couple things to be aware of. Um, when your puppy goes home from us, I do not treat for fleas. We don't have fleas. If I, I was great, and she scratches an ear at the same time. But I have not had fleas for years. Don't ask me why. I mean, we don't have any stray animals up here. Um, so they have not, we don't treat anybody for anything. Uh, they do get a heart guard, which uh, I really do think heart guard is important. And a lot of heart guards have different things in them. Another good thing to look into and talk to your vet about, there are many different kinds of heart guards. There's tablets, there's injectable, there's uh, the little bit of the oil that you put on their shoulders. There are many different things. Some of them, I don't like some of them that they say will last six months. It's an injectable. So it's a slow time release product. I just, I don't know, I guess I'm, as a, a groomer, and personally I'm a little bit leery of something you're going to inject in my puppy, it's going to last for six months. Some dogs can tolerate it, some dogs can't that I've heard, so I can't help you out a whole lot about that. Um, I like the good old-fashioned, old-fashioned standby heart guard. Um, for us, it's revolution if, um, on the puppies, we do give your puppy its first dose of revolution before it goes home. That kind of saves you the blood test from your vet because most vets will say, oh, we can't give your dog heart guard until you have a blood test. So um, we do do their first dose of heart guard here and it will be on your um, health card that's going home with you that the, you know, what they, they had it and um, you know, you can kind of go from there. but. Ear plucking is another thing you want to make sure your groomer does, which I forgot to tell you about. So you want to make sure the ears are plucked out about every seven weeks, eight weeks at the most. Uh, because of the poodle and the schnauzer, they're going to have hair in their ears and it has to be plucked out. Cutting it, I'm not a fan of cutting it, but some people do that. Um, we just pluck it out with a powder that actually lets you grip the hair. These guys are whiny. Well, and the sun's finally caught us, too. The sun has kind of taken over part of our puppy pen. Um, golly. I try and each week give you some tips and things that I can think about. Um, on your supply list, you're going to get in your puppy packet when you come. I have a list of vendors that are great to buy things from. We also use an all-natural puppy shampoo that's tearless. And the big thing I would stay away from is don't use baby shampoo on your dog like the famous brand that's in the grocery store that babies have always been using for years. It actually strips the oil out of their coat 
and will make them dry and itchy. So you wanna use something that's all natural. And the one we have, well, we do send a sample of it home with you and then it's up to you if you wanna buy it or not buy it. It's entirely your discretion. It is available online. And uh, so we'll give you all that information when you come to pick up. So the videos that you got, you should have all gotten your email with all of your puppy pickup videos and also your vitamin information. Um, if you did not, please text me and let me know because that went out a couple weeks ago. And um, just write down all your questions that I didn't answer for you and bring those with you when you come to pick up. And I'll be glad to go through whatever you'd like to talk about when you're here. These guys are going, I'm about tired of this. Shammy says it's getting hot. Say so we're still halfway in the shade, Shammy. Um, toenails, like I said, toenails have been done every week. Uh, we just did toenails on these guys, and Vanessa's working on toenails on everybody this morning. So, um, golly, for today, that's about all I can throw at you. They're going to get another bath this week. They're going to get another hygiene clip because I noticed their tail, the backside of them is getting a little fuzzy. And with puppies, you've got to keep the backside shaved off. Otherwise, they'll get a little bit of feces stuck on there and it can accumulate and it can actually plug their backside up and they can't go to the potty. So for us, it's really important to keep that cleaned off really well. So we'll do that and redo them today on that also. I know, there it says, I'm crying. Uh, let's see. Also, when you come, um, remind me when you're here. Uh, we have um, a line of, we print our own t-shirts. So we have two t-shirts for everybody. I always forget to, to say, hey, would you like t-shirts? So remind me when you're here, we give everybody two free t-shirts. And we have kids sizes, extra small through youth large. And we go adult, small to adult triple x i think i've still got a couple triples left so and we try and do all sizes and we have all kinds of colors so that's something that you can um get when you're here just remind me please oh my goodness you guys are that's such a pitiful cry i know that's the royal blue collar crying down here well they're starting to get whiny mom's getting hot even though she's standing in the sun starting to pant so we're going to close for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed their video. They're doing great. And we'll talk to you soon.